What's up, everybody? This is Aztec 101 in the ring. And I was pretty much right in my in my uh, breakdown video about Saul Canelo Alvarez and Alfredo Angulo. Um, I didn't expect it to be such a dominant performance, but hey, I mean, Canelo was a better fighter. It, it, we saw this. Everybody knew it. Whether you were rooting for Angulo or you, you were rooting for Canelo, you knew in the back of your head, your third eye saw it. Canelo was a better fighter. You you just knew it. I mean, maybe you wanted to wish upon a star, and hopefully uh, uh, the same thing that happened to Broner will happen to Canelo, and the underdog ends up beating his ass. But that's not what happened. Um, it was, That's not what happened. The one thing I just didn't expect was just that it was so lopsided. I mean, Canelo looked like Angulo did not belong in the ring with him. He did not. He had no business stepping into the ring with him. That's how it looked. It looked like Canelo was from another planet. It just. It, it didn't. It didn't make. Uh, uh, it didn't make for a, a great fight. Only because you know it, it would have. If it was, would have been a little bit more competitive. But it was very entertaining. I mean, I feel really bad enjoying myself after someone like Angulo, who I think is a great person. Um, but Angulo has been talking a lot of shit, and there was bad blood between Canelo and Angulo. And for the longest time, fighters like Molina, Angulo, and Lara have been saying that Canelo, uh, you know, doesn't deserve his spot, you know, doesn't deserve his popularity, uh, doesn't deserve the recognition he gets from his fans. So, uh... uh you know, you got fighters like 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 uh, Angulo, who uh, uh, you know has in interviews before been saying that calling out Canelo, saying that Canelo is is, is ducking him and avoiding him. Now Canelo steps into the ring with him and 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 uh, he fucked him up. He fucked him up real bad, and I can see the bad blood was fueling Canelo in that fight. He had something to prove. He had something to prove because of his loss. He had something to prove personally, eye to eye, looking at Angulo. He had something to prove to him that, no, motherfucker, I was not avoiding you. I was preparing myself so I can hit you with this and hit you with that, motherfucker. That's what he, I mean, this is one thing that, 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 I just noticed is, is Angulo and Virgil Hunter did not take Canelo serious. It didn't seem like it. It didn't seem like it. I mean, it looked like he, they were questioning his power. It looked like they really didn't believe. I mean, I, I told you guys. I said it in my breakdown video. You can't just walk down Canelo like that. You can't. You can't just walk down Canelo. You're going to get bombed on. Angulo will have to learn how to do different things. He would have to, you know, know how to fight stepping backwards. He would need to use the ring. He would need a box, man. It, 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 you, and then at this point, you can't really teach someone who doesn't, isn't, it isn't part of their style. You can't teach them a new style. So I understand that. But I was expecting more just because it's Virgil Hunter. But, you know, it's it, he, he's a human. You know, it's it's not like uh, uh, um, Angulo is a fucking p computer where you could just download a new program in him. And, 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 you know, he works differently. So I get it. It's just that I, I really I really do think that uh, Canelo was underestimated, was underestimated by both. Uh, uh, by by both Virgil Hunter and, and Angulo. And um you know his 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 punches, his combinations were devastating. I felt really bad for Angulo. Now as far as a stoppage, I'm split between the middle. I'm split between the middle. And and a lot of people are saying that, oh well, you know, I saw Angulo was was gaining gaining some success. I, I didn't see that. Um, I saw, I just, I, I saw that, that, that he was just getting bombed on. That's it. I mean, Canelo was begging to get hit. That's, I, I didn't expect for Canelo to walk through Angulo's punches like that. I mean, 
basically what happened was it seemed as though the first 30 seconds of the fight or the first 30 seconds of the first round dictated the rest of the fight. And from then on, you saw Angulo gun shy. He didn't know what to do. He wanted it. He wanted to pity pat his way into into something. His feints weren't working, and he was falling for every trick in the book. When it came down to every every uh, uh, punch that Canelo was throwing was being set up perfect, perfect. I mean, it it, it was it, it was just not 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 really. Uh, if you like, if you like Angulo, it's not something that that you really want to see go down, because um, I've never seen Angulo be dominated like that, ever. I mean, I've never seen Angulo dominated like that. Now, now let's go. Now let's go and talk about what happened after the fight, because that seems to be the hot topic. Everybody seems to be talking about what happened between Arizlandi Lara and Saul Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> I have a different perspective. A lot of people are mad. They're mad at Canelo. He's ducking Lara. The motherfucker's ducking Lara. He's a bitch. He's a baby. He's a little kid. All this shit talking. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Canelo kind of made fun of Lara. It was a joke. Lara got it. Watch the video again. Lara laughed his ass off. He got it. He knows what he means. He, he, he knows what he's talking about. He kind of took a jab at Lara's fan base, you know? Uh, and for those of you who haven't seen it, Lara steps up to the podium while Canelo was getting prepared to answer a few questions. And Lara, you know, taps him on the shoulder, kind of gets his attention. Canelo turns around. He said, you know, Lara congratulates him on his fight. And uh, basically asked him, you know, when are we going to fight? The people want to see this fight. So then Canelo turns around and asks the crowd, oh, who wants to see this fight? Who wants to see this fight? But it was, it, it, it turned, he turned around. I think he was expecting either everybody to say yes or nobody to say yes. And there, you know, a few people in the crowd, they were like, I want to see this fight. I want to see the fight. And then uh, uh, he points out to one of the guys in the left and says, hey, isn't that your manager? And, uh, uh, you know, Lara started laughing. And that's it. And then he told him, uh, you know, this isn't how you go about make fights. Get the fuck off my stage, basically. And, you know, I, I get it. I, I get it. A lot of people aren't going aren't gonna, to uh, understand. They're like, oh, well, well he, he went up there and he called him out to his face. And, you know, Canelo should have... I mean, what do you expect Canelo to do? Pull out the contract right then and there and sign it? I made him look stupid. That's what he did. I, I, and I get it. I get it. I get it. Laura has been talking mad shit. Mad shit. Now, I, 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 will, I will say this, though. I will say this. If Lara and Canelo do not fight within the next three fights, the next three fights, mark my words, I will not support Canelo ever again. Okay? The fight has to happen within the next three fights. Mark my words again. If it doesn't happen, especially if these both of these fighters are anywhere near the same vicinity at 154, 160, 168, anywhere near there. I, I'll, that fight has to happen. It would be unfinished business if it doesn't. So, in my opinion, you know, I, I, I get it. I get a lot of people's sentiments. They really feel that this fight should have happened a long time ago. But, <laughs> you know, I think this is better. I think this is better for the people, better for the public. I think it's better having a, a, a seasoned Canelo than having an 18-year-old Canelo fight, uh, Lara. Because uh, the 18, 19, 20-year-old Canelo would have been chewed up and spit out by Lara. But the 23-year-old Canelo, 24-year-old Canelo, 25, I mean, he's getting better and better as we speak after every fight. So, you know, the longer, the, the, the longer we, we've, we've waited, you know, the better the, the better the fight will be. But I, obviously, I understand you can't wait too long. 
anything can happen in boxing. So next three fights, if it doesn't happen, I'm not supporting Canelo. But other than that, I see this fight happening. A lot of people are jumping to the conclusion where they're like, uh, they're already they're already assuming that the fight is not going to happen. They're already going into uh, using words like ducking. I mean, ducking. There were videos being put out saying, using the word duck. I mean, Canelo didn't even fucking wipe the sweat off his face. And they're already saying he's ducking a fighter. Get the fuck out of here, man. This is where haters are coming out the woodwork. They're coming out the woodwork. And I get it. A lot of people do not like Canelo. I, I completely understand. I don't understand why, but I get it. You're mad that this attention is being given to a fighter like Canelo when there's a fighter that you like that isn't receiving the same attention. And you're mad. Whatever. Not my problem. In my opinion, as long as Canelo keeps fighting, and as long as he doesn't duck Lara, I'm happy. I'm fine. So I want the fight to happen. I think the fight will happen. I think it's obvious that it will happen. I mean, Lara, Lara already, you know, he just fought Trout. Uh, he jabbed his way to victory in that fight. Um, and then dropped him in the 11th round. Then you have, you know, Canelo, Canelo fighting Angulo. And, um, you know, Canelo completely demolished Angulo. And then you, now you have this confrontation. Um, this is, this is almost, this is perfect. This is perfect. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, so in my opinion, this is probably a perfect setup for a future fight. Uh, hopefully, uh, next can hopefully Canelo's next fight or a fight in September. I know that Canelo's fighting three times this year and they're all going to be pay-per-view and Lara just does not have a solid fan base, but this little thing that he did, which I really like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm laughing at, at Lara because of, of, of the, the joke. Um, but in the end, I like what, what Lara did. I just wish, uh, I, I kind of wish Lara would do this to the fucking right fighter, man. This is where, this is where I'm, 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 fuck, man. I'm having a hard time supporting Lara too. I'm having a hard fucking time supporting Lara. You're in Vegas. You're in Vegas. All right. Mayweather, the WBA super champ. Right? You should be calling him out. You sh you're in Vegas. Floyd was there. He was promoting his fight with Maidana. You could have gone to his press conference. You could have done the same thing. Oh, but, oh, but, you know, that fight won't happen. All right. I see how it's going. Okay. You guys are content with that fight not happening. You're content. With uh, apparently, I guess uh, Lara going after uh, Mayweather's leftovers, right? If Lara's supposed to be the best, you guys are happy with that. Logic just does not make sense. You know, I I I just I, I wish Lara would 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 have uh, uh, you know taken that same that same approach, that same energy. Gone up to Floyd and asked for the fight. But he didn't. Instead, he chose uh, to do that with Canelo. And uh, you know what? Cool. Cool. I, I want to see the fight happen anyways. I want to see Canelo versus Floyd anyways. I mean, versus uh, Lara. And, and in my opinion, this is going to happen. I have no doubt in my mind that the fight is going to happen. A lot of people are already jumping to conclusions. I get it. It, it. it looks, I don't know how it could possibly look like a duck. I mean, shit. It, in order for someone to duck somebody, you got to, like, not fight them, right? So, so if, 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 you know, in the future, looking back, and you go, well, Canelo... Canelo didn't fight him. 
Well, then, 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 okay, then that, that, that was a clear duck. That was a clear duck. Um, but if Canelo ends up fighting him in the next few fights, then that whole ducking bullshit goes out the window. That shit was just, uh, you know, that's what happens. A lot of motherfuckers out here are going to be mad. You put your money on Angulo. I don't know why the fuck you did that. You should know better. You should fucking know better. Ooh, you know what, though? There's there's kind of two different frames of thought. It is is that Angulo was tailor-made for Canelo. And then there were a lot of people that were saying that Angulo was this dangerous fighter. He put down Lara twice. He, 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 he's, he's got heavy hands. He's got this. He's got that. He's got this. He's got that. And you know what? A lot of people were putting, uh, you know, Alfredo Angulo up on a pedestal. And I get it. I understand. Angulo uh, looked very dangerous in his last fight, even though he lost. But I will say this. Canelo um, was completely uh, overlooked in this, in this fight by, by a few people. But a lot of people were, were, were I think, unimpressed by the 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 matchup like they want to see him more against other boxers uh, they don't want to see him I, I i'm starting to see that that the same criticism that happens to other other boxers other count, counter bunchers uh, other um pure boxers like floyd mayweather people are getting tired of seeing him uh fight come forward fighters so i i think i i, I understand where where a lot of this is coming from a lot of people are uh, you know, just don't want to see Canelo against a, a flat-footed fighter that comes forward and takes a lot of punishment because Canelo will look good against him. And I, I mean, I guess I understand that. I, I guess I, I, I get it. So I'm hoping that uh, this year with the three fights that or two fights that are available now, um, you know, I hope we get to see different styles, you know, of opponents. That's what I'm hoping for. But, you know, in the end, this was a, a, a great fight. Lara, Lara's going to Lara's gonna get in the ring with, with Canelo. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, man, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are fucking overreacting. But it's cool. Whatever. Whatever. It's fueling the fight anyways. It's going to fuel the fight. So I'm not complaining. This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.